Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas, and this is a Fresnel mirror that we made. This basically is a regular piece of acrylic material. It is the .118 thickness. It's pre-mirrored. It's just an acrylic mirror. And what I did was I cut a perfect circle using the table saw. Now when you do that, you end up with a very nice edge on the outside. So you're designed to actually cut a circle, the table saw cutting method. The video link for that is down below. And you end up with uh, the outer piece, which is usually the cutaway piece, has a slight bevel to it. If you do it nice and slow, it's going to be really smooth. If you do it rough, uh, if you rush, you're going to end up with a rough piece right here. This is a little tricky part cut as you get closer inward. But you set your table saw at one inch increments in, or you can go an inch and a quarter in, and you lose the one eighth between, depending on the width of the blade. You actually lose right at a little bit more than that because you're actually cutting at an angle. Once you're done with that, you have rings that look like this. And I didn't do the last ring. You're gonna notice these have a little electrical tape. There's better ways of mounting these together. For now, I'm just gonna show you the quick way to do this. And what you do is you have to take your acrylic ring and you have to put a score line across it. You have to cut it with something. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that as straight as possible to a nice angle. Using a knife put a couple deep gouges on it and when you flex this material you're gonna see the line there you should wear goggles when you do this so let me get those on just in case acrylic snaps in your eye and it snaps right on that score line so now you have a acrylic ring that's loose like that now here's the trick when you pull these together like this you're gonna notice that the acrylic lifts up and it lifts up very consistently all the way around with the exception of this end right here it's flat here the way that you remedy that is you bend these in like this now there's a little trick to getting these to stay what I usually do is uh, put a piece of double stick tape and then wrap it with a little electrical tape it gives you a quick demo for people to show them what a Fresnel mirror looks like you can figure your true exact focal point by the way you adjust your focal point by tightening this in if you want a longer focal length you would barely put it in because the mirror is shooting way up if you want a very tight focal point you squeeze it like that and now this focal point is probably right about here so each mirror that you add into the ring needs to all be adjusted there's a couple ways of doing that you can get scientific with figuring uh, lengths and dimensions and everything or you can put a very bright light uh, straight above your table and you use a white sheet of paper and you get the focal point. You figure it with one, you move it, you kind of do it manually. It's a funner way of doing it than actually getting real mathematical. To alleviate the overlap, like if you have an extreme overlap, you can actually cut some of this away so that they don't overlap as much. But what I'm gonna do is show you the trick to getting these to stay together. So you want your surface to be nice and clean, which is very dusty in here right now. Just take your piece of tape, just, this is just regular double stick tape, and you want a piece that's not longer than, put a couple on there, like this. And when you overlap them, you're gonna now have a friction surface. When these overlap, they have a tendency to want to kind of bow, bow like that. It's kind of hard to get them to stay at an angle. The way that you fix that is while this is on the table, you flex the acrylic like this. Not too much to where you break it, but when you flex it, these actually fall right into place. So what I usually do, once I determine the focal length, I'll go ahead and w watch when I flex this. You'll, you'll notice this ridge right here. You'll watch it go, go into place like that. Flex it and then hold it with a wood clamp here. And then now you've got the one in position, the second one, you can take your, actually, I've got the tape on the wrong side. <laughs> okay, so we've got it here. Flex it into position. It doesn't really matter which way you go with it. Clamp this down. Now, and we're bending this to keep this like that. That's not bent. You can see that this is sticking out up here when I bend it into place. It closes right into a circle right there. So we're flexing it into place and then using electrical tape to hold it.
The nice thing about electrical tape is you can stretch it and it makes a nice tight fit. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to give it a little bend and uh, I'll do this off camera because it's easier. But there we go. So now these are in place. And if I lay this down, that has a consistent curved bevel all the way around. So I didn't measure this one, so I don't know if the focal point's going to be exact on it to these. These were all measured out. But they, it would basically sit something like this. You could mount this with uh, a small adhesive or a little bit of resin to hold them in place. And you have yourself a Fresnel mirror. This is a dusty Fresnel mirror because it's, it's a wood shop, so there's a lot of dust in here. But that's something about how it would look when it's completed. That is the easy way of making a Fresnel mirror. This will take you probably about an hour if you're fast. Uh, if you're slower, probably a couple, two, three hours. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos.